Hello my friends, my name is Ishan and today I will be showing you how to create an animation on the Raspberry Pi Pico with the WaveShare 1.14 inch LCD display module. Okay, so let's get started. So for this example, we need two components. The first is the Raspberry Pi Pico, the RP2040 microcontroller chip designed by Raspberry Pi. Here are its specifications. Then the second component is the WaveShare 1.14 inch Pico LCD display. It comes with a joystick and two buttons for easy user interfacing. Here are its specifications. Now to connect these two together, we can just plug them in, the male headers to the female headers. Uh, make sure the USB mark over here is facing the USB here. Just Then find yourself a good micro USB cable that is capable of transferring data and you can start coding. So to get started with the Raspberry Pi Pico, you will want to use the micro Python programming language. It's an implementation of Python 3 for microcontrollers. Here are instructions to flash the firmware for MicroPython onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. The link will be provided in the description. Okay, let's start making our code. One last thing, you will probably want to use the Thorny Python IDE when you're programming the Raspberry Pi Pico with MicroPython. Why would you want to do that? Because this allows you to select the interpreter automatically instead of having to do it manually. So that as soon as you open it, it knows that you want to code the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I'm assuming you have Thorny running right now. You will want to create the images first for animation purposes. So suppose you want to get this animation ready for, well, animation. You will want to go and resize it into a 48 into 27 image. Just type that in here, 48 into 27. Why would you want to do this? Because the memory of the Pico is quite small. So you want to save the images in a slightly pixelated format so that you can fit in three or so images into the memory. All right, so assuming you have prepared the images, you can just go to this link. I've provided the link in the description. Choose file. Choose the image, the 48 into 27 image that you created earlier. Select .c file and then click make file. A preview image will be displayed here. You can click and open. <laughs> now all that's left to do is to copy paste this array into your Python program. But if you do that, this slash slash will be interpreted as a command by Python because in Python, the hashtag symbol is comment. We can correct that replace this comment symbol with this comment symbol. So this is the final Python code. The link is provided in the description. I have created three arrays, array one, array two, and array three. These can easily be modified to show whatever image you like. We import three libraries here. The first one is to control the microcontroller. The second one is for graphics on MicroPython, and the last one is for the time library. These are all the SPI pins, and this is the class definition for the display. It builds on the frame buffer class to add extra features for this particular display, okay? The three arrays created using the method that I described earlier. If you're directly copy-pasting from that .c file, 
there will be a comma right here make sure to modify that into a square bracket now it checks whether it's the main program running and it initializes an LCD display now while true sets the counter to zero the pixel counter to zero now um, as you'll know this display has a resolution of 240 into 135 but if I took three 240 into 135 images converted them into RGB 565 bitmaps and put them in the code they wouldn't fit in the pi's memory not even one of them fits in the pi's memory so I decided to resize them into 48 into 27 images instead which means one pixel in the image takes up 25 pixels on the screen like one pixel one item in the array makes 25 pixels on the screen so for every y line on the screen for every x pixel on the y line create a rectangle of 5 into 5 with the given position add one then show the LCD this is the first image wait 150 milliseconds and then repeat that for the other two images this will keep repeating so the animation of the running man will keep getting shown again and again okay now you can run this now here's a small note if you're doing it on the Raspberry Pi Pico then you will want to make it file save as they'll give you an option here this computer Raspberry Pico click on Raspberry Pico and save it as main.py why would you want to do this so that when you start up your Rasp Raspberry Pi Pico it automatically runs this code just main.py that's it sorry save like that now if you run this and it tells you backend terminated or something then all you have to do is click this and it will restart the backend that happens sometimes you disconnect the USB cable okay run it and you shall see your running man you can disconnect the USB cable at this stage and then reconnect it to a power bank um, the image will surely be shown okay so guys that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching